CM Punk versus Jungle Boy backstage fights. Both are suspended now because of it. Now, you know the story. In fact, you messaged me earlier yep. and said we should talk about it. Uh, I'm going to do some reading, so bear with me. Many different versions of the story have surfaced, but essentially Jungle Boy Jack Perry at All In did some bumps onto a limo on the All In pre-show in his match against Hook. He looks into the camera and says, It's real gra- uh, grass. It's real glass. Cry me a river. <laughs> Don't worry about the grass. Uh, Punk is next match to get into a scuffle at gorilla position. Samoa Joe is then very unhappy because he has to break up the fight, which explains why Joe had blood on him before the match started with CM Punk, which I only realised today. So, here's what uh, well, here's what happened according to Brian Alvarez and Wrestling Observer. Here's what went down. Perry said something to the effect of, well, you heard what I said out there. According to several people, Punk said something to the effect of, you know I can beat your ass, right? There was a quick incident and nearly 100% of people Alvarez spoke with say Punk made the comment and either shoved or pie-faced Perry and then put him in a guillotine headlock. It was immediately broken up soon after they got close enough to Tony Khan, who was in the gorilla position that monitors were apparently knocked down onto Tony Khan. Alvarez said that unlike the brawl following All Out, there were lots of witnesses to this happening, including Khan himself. Alvarez said that Punk was furious about the situation and several people said he threatened to quit and didn't want to go out for his match against Samoa Joe, which caused a delay. Alvarez said he heard that the results of uh, th- that resulted in AEW personnel going to FTR and the Young Bucks about opening the show, but they weren't ready to do so, and etc, etc. But that's the fight itself. So, you've heard what I've got to say, you've heard what has apparently happened. What do you think? Well... <laughs> well... Hey, I've said this before. There's a, the best stories in the AEW are backstage. That's the best ones. Hey, oh, start having everybody have a camera and get everything and then go back and pick out the best, the best of the week and then put it on your show. It's funny you said that, Dutch, because they did at one point have a roving camera backstage for a documentary. And but, what did they do? They completely ignored the suspensions of CM Punk and the fight, and they didn't. The, the one thing people are interested in, and they refused to acknowledge it in any way for, due to legal reasons. Well, you know, I, I took that. I, I'm not getting off topic here, but I am. I I used that as a gimmick. I called it the paparazzi cam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put two guys backstage. They would be catching. You're not supposed to get what they're saying, but he would peek up behind the camera, a wall, and then they look and he'd go back. And But you heard what they were saying. Uh, they, they were saying, I did a lot of angles that way because it was, it's actually so stupid, it's good. Because who would think there's a camera back there and just if you overthink it. But I have said time and time again about Tony Khan, I respect uh, his love for the business. I respect that he actually put his uh, money where his mouth was and he opened up another company, but I think he needs to take charge of it because these guys, sometimes it's a weird world backstage at a pro wrestling show. How, how exactly does he need to take charge? Because these guys seem to, they're, they're running things when he should be running things. No, 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 no. But I mean, a specific instance of how should he take charge? Not because it's easy to say he should t- ch- take charge because he should do. But how does he do well, it? He's, he's let it go this far. How does he do it now? Well, he may have taken charge because allegedly he suspended both Jungle Boy and CM Punk. But CM Punk... Isn't he the reason they got that show at Warner Brothers anyway? Or mm-hmm. so yeah. he's a, and so how's he going to explain that to to the people putting the show on? So I don't know. I don't know what he's got to do, but I think there are some people, uh, especially younger guys, who don't know how lucky they are that they have a place other than WWE to go work. Where are they going to work? Independence, pick up $300 for whatever they pick up. Mm-hmm. Or Tony Khan's going to give them 200000 a year or 150 or whatever he's given them. I mean, and that's that's locked in. So these guys need to understand 
like Jungle Boy, that he's very lucky to have a situation that he's in right now. And he went out there, and to me, Jungle Boy was the one who started this. Because when he went out uh, and put the guy through the windshield of the car during the, the pay-per-view, he turned to it, hey, this is real glass, cry me a river. That, a river. that was a direct shot saying, hey, punk, what are you going to do about this? So when he come back, you know, punk heard it, and punk's looking at him, and uh, uh, what did he say to punk? Did you like the match? Or? Uh, let me just find the quote. Bear with me. Uh, well, you heard what I said out there. Yeah. And then he says, you know, I can beat your ass. That's exactly what he said. And that's what got it started. And then uh, he pushed him, and then he he, he put a, a choke lock on him. And, and then Joe, who had the, the foresight, said, guys, stop this. Bull crap. Let's don't, let's don't act like 16-year-old kids here. Because that's what they were doing. And then on, the, and on top of that, Tony Khan is sitting right there. And allegedly, they knocked some stuff over on him mm -hmm. when they hit the table or whatever they hit. So, and now I think he was forced in this situation to make a to make make a statement like "you're you're suspended and you're suspended." So we'll see where it goes. But he needs to take he needs to take charge, and. The boss, ultimately, everything that happens in that company goes back to Tony Khan. He's the owner. He makes the rules. He makes he's paying everybody. He's the money guy. So he, he gets to make the rules. So but he needs to. I, I don't I, I think they like him. But I also think that Tony wants to be. Uh, like one of the boys, as they say, one of the guys can't do that you cannot do that really because it's going to have a adversarial you like that word adversarial uh conditions applied back to him so it's it from what i'm hearing <clears throat> from respectable journalists like who'd you read alvarez or yeah, alvarez yeah <laughs> so he just getting it from somebody else but I don't know. I think it's a mess. So let me they need to straighten it out. Let me let me just uh, clarify this. Then you said you put Jungle Boy at more at fault than CM Punk. Yes, I do. We're starting it, but you can't. Well, let me just rephrase that. Punk is in a position of leadership. He should have said, "Get in the back. Don't even talk to me right now. Go do his match." then come back and then do whatever he's going to do or talk to Tony about it because Tony, he had to see the lack of respect that jungle boy had for punk total lack of respect. You think I would, if I was in WWE and I've been in this business a long time, you think I was going to come back and you know, this is back, back in the day, Pat Patterson is standing there and I'm going to say something smart ass to him. And I'm not going to fight anybody, and, and Pat's not going to fight. But, you know, Pat's going to go and say, hey, you need to do something about this guy. You need to do something about Dutch. You need to let him go or do something. But that's the way it works. But Punk should have actually uh, reacted as if he was in a position of leadership and uh, taken care of it later is should, what I'd say. Should someone be fired for this, or is that taking it too far? No, I think somebody needs to be fired. I think Jungle Boy and CM Punk should be fired. Really? But Tony could come back, but they got suspended. So, but are they suspended with pay or not? Oh, they're probably suspended with pay. In fact, I just want to bring See, this up what, to you. Yeah. Uh, what is the purpose then? They're getting paid? I don't know. I mean, I th that's not been revealed. I don't think it matter either way because All Out, the second pay per view in as many weeks, is going to be happening on September the third in Chicago. 
And do you Ooh. think they're going to be running at a Chicago event without CM Punk on the card? <laughs> Hell, that might make me want to take it <laughs> <laughs> to see how Chicago is going to react without CM Punk on the card. He's he's a Chicago boy. He's their favorite. So that is something to, you know, Tony Khan has got a big ha head of dark hair. How long is it going to be before it's gray? Unless he dies it. Uh, so, I, I don't, I don't know. That's a question I can't possibly answer. <laughs> well, so you don't dye your that, hair. Your your hair's still quite dark, and you're in your seventies. No, but I am. Uh, but I I do, I do get accused of dyeing my yeah. hair. You dye the mustache. I know that. Well, I did before. I don't now. So, dyeing a mustache is a lot different than dyeing your hair, though. I was joking. That. I was going to say you were dyeing it white or gray or whatever it is. Well, I know, I know but I used to dye it, but I, I never dye it black. I dyed that mid brown because you can, and I'm going to tell you what, if, if anybody's going to dye a mustache, watch it because it's very, very uh, time conditional. I mean, if you leave it on there just 30 seconds too long, it's gone. Well, it, it just melts. Black. It for, oh, oh, the brown, the it, brown turns no, black. It, 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 you no, know, it just gets too dark and it looks like hell. It looks like, oh. My phone's hey, doing it again. So, but <laughs> right. anyway, just be, just before we get onto this, uh, I'll mention two more things. Uh, get off this, I should say. CM Punk and Miro. If I was Tony Khan, I would take CM Punk and and uh, Jungle Boy into a room and dye his beard. And I no, I just <laughs> <laughs> I just slap the shit out of either one up, and I said, "Ah, oh, do you want to do something about it? Do it, do it, do it, and then see what happens." Yeah. See, now go do your job. Damn it. Next one is Punk and Miro may or may not have had a backstage confrontation. We don't know, so we won't refer to it. But there is one more thing about Punk. He was unhappy uh, because no one had arranged transport transport from the airport to the stadium well, for him. And oh, the stadium. yeah, you picked up on this as well. So, well, what did you make of it? Were you were you trying to tell me beforehand that it was a conspiracy to wind up Punk from Tony Khan? Oh. But I heard later that nobody had transportation yeah. lined up. Now, with WWE, I will say this. From the time you get on that plane in New York or Miami or Atlanta, going over to the, across the pond, to the mother country, I hope you're happy now, I called it the mother country. Mm -hmm. But by the time you get off that plane over there and you go through immigration, you're just you're you you always have an attendant. They'll take you right to your car. They'll take you right to your hotel. They'll help take your bags in. I mean, you're catered to WWE. I, I will say that for them. You're catered to. And then you go in, you get your room. They take your bags up. All you got to do is go in a room. And then the, the next day, you, you get on a bus, you, you go to wherever you're going, then you finish that night, and then you go to the next town that night, and you go into the hotel. Guess what you got waiting for you? Mm -hmm. a, a meal. It, it's catered. I don't care if it's 3 o'clock in the morning. You walk in, and you sit down in the restaurant, and you have a meal that's catered to you right then. So I will say that WWE treats uh, their performers like they should be treated. They 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 walk you the time you get off that plane, the time you get back on it. You always got an attendant. If you need something, you just tell them, and it, it's taken care of. Now, as far as Punk, if he had to find his own way, well, he's in a wrestling business. That, that should be nothing new to him. But but I don't know why they didn't tell him before that he'd have to find his own way to the stadium. Why didn't they tell him that? Because he, he came in later, didn't he, than everybody else? I think, yeah, he probably came in late, I think, yeah.